beautiful and resilient citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. On the occasion of our 59th anniversary of our attaining independent status, I offer you best wishes from the Ministry of National Security and indeed on my own behalf. August the 31st of this year marks the second consecutive year that we have had to forego our traditional Independence Day celebration, including our proud military parade due to the unprecedented challenges of the COVID-19 virus and its variants. It is my sincere hope that the coming year will herald a return to the customary splendid parade of our nation's defense and protective services, which we undoubtedly all enjoy as the main feature of our country's Independence Day celebrations. The Ministry of National Security has quite naturally and traditionally had direct responsibility for coordinating this grand national event. We heartily look forward to bringing the pomp and splendor of the occasion back on our national agenda as soon as the circumstances permit. Independence is the most significant step in the growth and development of a nation. From a national security perspective, the Ministry of National Security, under its previous incarnation as the Ministry of Home Affairs, was assigned the important responsibility to ensure that certain fundamental administrative requirements for the granting of independence in 1962 were all achieved. In this regard, the Ministry established the nation's first infantry to deter external aggression, as well as a maritime force to complement the already existing police marine branch resources. From then to now, the Ministry of National Security's various agencies continue to proudly defend, protect, and uphold the honor and dignity of our independent nation, and do so with great pride. In these uncertain times of a global health pandemic, our national security personnel demonstrate a great resilience, serving our nation and people with great dedication and do so tirelessly in order to make this country safer and more secure for all of us. Most of their work completely out of the public gaze for their undisputable dedication, commitment, and service. We must all offer them due praise for the critical role they play in maintaining the dignity and sovereignty of this nation. After 59 years as an independent nation, Trinidad and Tobago is today a modern, thriving democracy where all citizens enjoy fundamental rights and freedoms. All citizens enjoy the protection of the law. Ours is a progressive society where all have opportunities for personal, community, and national development. Ours is a land where we boast of a cohesive relationship of dynamic diversity and a respected member of the global community of nations. May the love and unity we share as one people provide us with the fortitude to overcome all of our challenges. Let us, as citizens of this nation, reflect deeply on the work and efforts of our founding fathers, led, of course, by Dr. Eric Eustace Williams, our nation's first prime minister, as they worked in shaping the tenets of our democracy and paving the way for progress and peace as a nation. Happy 59th Independence to you all, and God bless our nation. I thank you.